We're 40 minutes into WWE SummerSlam and the big news is Gaming Jesus hasn't fell asleep yet but there was some minor news after the first match. Bianca Belair defeated Becky Lynch only to be interrupted by the return of Bailey. Bailey, who we haven't seen in over a year was injured. She came back looking a little bit different. Came back though with no momentum. We haven't seen her in a year. We don't really care for her at the moment. And then we thought that was the big return, but it turns out they weren't done there. They kind of like just watered down Bailey's return by bringing out Dakota Kai, who was released like three, four months ago, apparently not even under contract. She came out to stand next to Bailey, and then they were joined by Io Shirai, who is apparently about to leave next month when her contract runs out. And those two came out, stood beside Becky, and I stood beside Bailey. Stared down at Bianca Belair with a three on one situation, but then Becky, who I think was injured from our match, like legit injured, came in, stood next to Bianca Belair. We thought we were going to get a heel turn for Becky, but it turns out, nah, she stood with Bianca. They looked on at the three women, and then Bailey and her crew decided to back off and leave. And then WWE and the fans and the Twitter account, this is awesome, this is awesome. Thoughts, was it awesome? No, it was shite. And everything about this is just horrendous, right? This just feels very AEW. Oh, Corey Graves hammering home the fact that she wasn't under contract. Who gives a fuck? Yeah, it's almost like a forbidden door thing. I mean, like, who, who cares? See when people return in rumbles and, like, other stuff and just returns and attacks someone? You don't you don't think, ah, oh, he's under contract. You just think, oh, fuck, this is happening. Yeah, why, why did this need to be... For all we... What about the other one? I, is she not fucking released? Who, the you? Should I? Aye. No, but her contract runs it next month or something, so... Uh, nah, to me... Like, see when Brock appeared at last year's SummerSlam? He might not have fucking actually been tied down to a contract. Yeah, we don't know. But, 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 but fucking mentioning that? No, I mean... I, I just don't get it, right? I, I, I mean, I've been saying, yeah, I think they need Bailey back because I'm, I'm sick of seeing the same women in the title picture, but to me, that's kind of watered down Bailey's return. Bailey's return, not that it was a big deal, but it's like she comes back and then she gets... There's two people that come out after her. And it's like the other two people, if this is them getting called up to the main roster, I mean, it looks like they're getting called up as like a sidekick. And I mean, that's... Yep, that's literally it. What's looks that like going to do for your like career? A I don't know they're going to be called the fucking Karens. Unless you're a tag team, like, I mean, being stuck in a stable that doesn't really do much good for you. It's not like this is evolution and they're building, oh, the, Randy, the next Randy Orton, the next Batista, it's... You know, I mean, Dakota Kai is 33 or whatever. These people, these two are supposed to be, oh, the, the best that NXT has to offer, yet they're going to be, they're being brought up as sidekicks to Bailey. This smells of Triple H. This smells of dog shit. I mean, 45 <laughs> minutes in, I don't want to fucking die. Anyway, Bailey's back. She brought Dakota Kai with her and Io Shirai. So we'll see what happens. Open the match, I thought it was okay, though. I mean. Aye, but I said really for the open match, it's more for this. We part. That's why you check the review. That's why you check the review. Review coming to you about quarter past four. Till then, though, lots of suffering on SummerSlam to go. Peace.